This program is rated PG. It contains themes and scenes which may not be suitable for very young audiences. Parental guidance is advised. News with accuracy, straight and spontaneous, brief yet concise. Trust and station in the service of the Filipino. Action News Republic. Broadcasting live from the Action News Republic Complex, Good Morning Philippines! This is John Epitz Kasul, serving you the hottest and the most leading news of the hour. Your news, our business. For the headlines. Zero recorded coronavirus, Palau, could become the first in the world to be vaccinated. Duterte warned Congress against summoning PSG men. New CCMC partially opens. Casey Concepcion show off curves in photos of El Nido Escapade. Zero recorded coronavirus Palau could become the first and the world to be vaccinated. Here is Jay Andiquilio for the details. A cluster of islands in the Pacific Ocean that's one of the few places on Earth entirely free from COVID-19 could become one of the first countries vaccinated against the disease. The Republic of Palau has received its first shipment of the vaccine developed by U.S. pharmaceutical company Moderna on Saturday. Vaccination started the next day, Palau's Ministry of Health announced on Twitter. Palau was among the first to implement stricter border controls, hence the zero recorded cases of the disease to date. The small size of the archipelago puts Palau in prime position to be among the first nations to be inoculated against COVID-19. However, the country's incident commander of the Ministry of Health, Ritter Udui, confirmed that Palau received at least one cold storage unit in late December, which can store up to 5,000 doses of the Pfizer vaccine. J. Andy Quilio, Action News Republic. Duterte warns Congress against summoning PSG men. Here is Sandra Bolo for the details. President Rodrigo Duterte on Monday night, January 4, 2021, warned Congress against summoning Presidential Security Group or PSG men in line with investigation into the vaccination against COVID-19 by using an unauthorized vaccine. The President also directed Brigadier General Jesus Durante, head of the PSG, not to obey any summons. He warned that there would be a little crisis if Congress forces the PSG officials to attend a hearing and that he would go to the Congress himself to fetch the soldiers if they are detained in contempt. Duterte said the vaccination of PSG personnel was a matter of self-preservation. It is a matter of uh, preservation. And I would like to call on Congress uh, na hindi naman ako nakikiusap Ang ano ko lang, diretso na salita na do not uh, think here with uh, the PSG. I'm telling you as president, is a matter of self-preservation. The use of any vaccine against COVID-19 is not yet authorized in the Philippines. An emergency use authorization or EUA is needed to allow the distribution and use of any medicine or vaccine against COVID-19. However, FDA Director General Eric Domingo said his office can issue a compassionate special permit for small groups such as PSG. Sandra Bolo, Action News Republic. New CCMC partially opens. Here is Shella Altobar for the details. Cebu City Mayor Edgardo Labella and Vice Mayor Michael Rama led Cebu City officials in opening of the first three floors of the new Cebu City Medical Center to the public Monday, December 28, 2020. The 10 story building is now in its fifth year of construction. The old CCMC building on Natalio Bacalcio Avenue had to be demolished after sustaining heavy damage during the October 2013 earthquake which the hospital operations transferred to the Bureau of Fire Protection compound. The current administration had eyed a gradual opening, first with the new hospital building's first three floors. Sheila Altobar, 
Action News Republic. We will be right back after some short commercial. Stay tuned. the breaking news. Here is Zandra Bolo for the report. The Office of the Ombudsman has dismissed the criminal charges against Cebu Governor Gwendolyn Garcia and several other officials accused of violating the anti graft and Corrupt Practices Act over the construction of the controversial Cebu International Convention Center. Located at the North Reclamation Area, the CICC was built for the station of Southeast Asian Nations ASEAN Summit in 2006. Zandra Bolo, Action News Republic. Casey Concepcion, show of curves and photos in El Nido Escapade. Here is Stephanie Gabinete for the details. Casey Concepcion flaunts curves with a scenic beach getaway on Instagram photos at the start of New Year. The 35-year-old actress is seen frolicking in the crystal clear waters of El Nido, Palawan, wearing a swimsuit and some jewelry. Some shots show her aboard a yacht. Earlier photos indicate that the actress welcomed 2021 at the same resort in Palawan. On her New Year's Eve photos, she captioned, This year, we learned that when faced with hard times, it's our choice to either sink or swim. Keep swimming. 
In the past year, Conception inspires her followers with messages about body positivity and self-esteem. Last August, she spoke of embracing her curves and that according to her previous Instagram caption, ultra-feminine shape. After admittedly once getting affected mentally, emotionally, and physically by body shaming comments. Stephanie Gbenete, Action News Republic. For our weather updates, here is Jayan Dikilio. Jayan? will have rainy weather during the first week of 2021 due to the effects of a tail end of a frontal system and easter leads, as well as the prevailing northeast monsoon. Bagasa weather specialist Samuel Duran said huge clumps of clouds were covering almost the entire country, stretching from central Luzon down to Mindanao, bringing showers nationwide. Pagasa also warned the residents of Metro Manila to watch out for flash floods or landslides that may be caused by moderate to heavy rain being experienced during the week. J. Andukilio, Action News Republic. And those were top stories for this hour. This is Action News Republic. This has been your unbiased and truth upholder, Jonathan Casu, saying, We do not just secure freedom. We defend what people deserve.